is, you know, why do we play this game for us? Why do we play Virginia? And just from my perspective, I have had the most utmost respect for Virginia basketball and what it represents. And um, certainly not the result we wanted, but, but Virginia basketball under Tony Bennett, and I'm really confident Virginia basketball under Ron Sanchez is going to represent competitiveness and toughness with integrity. And, and so I couldn't have more respect for the Virginia basketball program. I think when Tony Bennett came here, however many years ago it was, tried to um, be different than the mainstream Division I high level basketball, and he did it at an unbelievable level. Um, I think Ron Sanchez is starting that process. They're kind of modernized their offense. Um, and I, I think, you know, great things are in store. I, there's nobody I could have more respect for than Ron Sanchez or, or Tony Bennett. So that's what we play here. And also, Caleb Kenny, our only senior, is from Richmond and a uh, chance to get him closer uh, to home. Um, you know, tonight, uh, you know, I, I, I saw. You know, you watched every game of Virginia, and obviously they didn't have the results they wanted or the, or the performance in, in the Bahamas, but you could see the evolution of their offense um, and, and then obviously the, the foundation of their defense. And we just, you know, we're a team that relies on, on knocking down threes. We couldn't knock down threes, and I don't think it was, you know, because we were cold. I think it's like we couldn't get unleashed. You know, our best three point shooting is going to happen when we can hit the paint. We can drive in space when we can force a team into rotations. And I thought, you know, we really struggled. Certainly, we had some shots that we made earlier in the year that we couldn't make. Um, uh, from our perspective, you know, what I, not a lot of positives except for the fact that I thought our guys competed uh, the entire time. I thought that they kept their composure. You know, we didn't, you didn't see what we call emotional baggage where. Guys are frustrated or, or you know playing out of character. So um, you know we'll we just gotta try to build. You know we've played back to back games against two elite defenses. Maine, which is actually really an underrated team that defends in a completely different way than Virginia. Uh, and you know our young team, starting three freshmen, we played against two elite defenses in a row. And you know a lot for us to learn from those experiences. Coach, you mentioned the kind of evolution of their offense. Um, how would you characterize it? What are you seeing from them that, that is a change? Well, I think it's more ball screen oriented, um, and and there's more space, and they have more three points. And again, I I can't profess to watch know every single thing about what they've done in the in the last couple of years. You know, but they kind of away a little bit from the blocker mover. Although at stretches they they hit us with a couple of those flare screens and. Um, you know, so it looks like they're find, finding a way to blend, um, you know, a ball screen kind of continuity um, with, you know, and then all of a sudden they'll, they'll unleash some of those flare screens and some of those things that, you know, Tony's teams were, were, were known for. Um, you know, I think the part of the evolution too is is the kid Rody. I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, Rody, but, you know, um, you know, I think early in the year, you know, but in play as well, was hurt, missed the game, something like that. You can see the comments he was getting um, uh, the last game against Manhattan. And so you got two guys that you absolutely can't run underneath the ball screen uh, in, in, in Rody and, um, and McNeely. And then, you know, Ames, if he shoots the ball that well. Um, and again, I, I, I think, um, Relative to us, that's an older team. You know, we're starting three freshmen. That's a bigger team. That's a more athletic team. But relative to the Virginia standards, that's still a pretty inexperienced team or new playing together. So I think if, if um, certainly they're going to, you know, when they play in the ACC, they're going to play against teams that are better than us. But I think I would guess that Coach Sanchez would say, you know, those guys play up to their potential. That's a pretty good uh, three guard lineman that can really put pressure on. Uh, I've been really impressed with Saunders, and I think as he continues to, uh, you know, really make a matchup problem uh, where he's good enough, he can pick and pop, um, but he also can score around the basket. So, 
you know, I, I think it's a, I think it's a team that's going to continue to get better. What, what is the advantage for them in terms of playing that three guard lineup that they did it against Manhattan, did it tonight against you? I think, like, I think watching their film, there's a much better flow to their offense um, with, with the three guard lineup. Uh, they, they flow from one action to the next to the next much more seamlessly. I don't know if that's a three guard lineup or it's two or three more games into the season you know, because it is a little bit different. It looks like it's a little bit different offensive philosophy or, or system than the, what they had in the past. Um, but I think it's another guy who could really touch the paint. Um, and, and so I think playing with the three guards where they can get in the paint, you're always going to shoot threes better if you can get paint touches for and force the defense to collapse. And you talk about not having emotional baggage. Uh, Max didn't shoot the ball particularly well against Maine, but came out today and shot the ball well. As as young as he is, how uplifting is that that he didn't carry a bad game into forcing him into another bad game? Yeah, I mean he's a confident kid, and you know, and he's gonna he's gonna have a lot of good games. And there's a lot that he's got to, you know, take from the film. A lot of good things he did, and a lot of things that he's got to do better. You know, um, but he's he's a gym rat. He's in the gym all the time. He's a confident kid, and you know, I think he'll only continue to get better. Um, you know, as a year and as his career goes on. And for you being at this point in your coaching career, how fun has it been? in the process of getting three freshmen in your starting lineup and watching them grow, you know, leading up to the Patriot League season? Yeah, I mean, it's fun and it's uh, harrowing, you know, at the same time, right? Um, as Al McGuire used to say, the best thing about freshmen is eventually they become sophomores. And, um, and, and again, uh, it's a different era in, in Division I basketball, so, um, those days of freshmen, you know, maybe you're playing against another team that's that's younger. But now, with you know, especially this is the last year, the fifth year COVID really thing, so you're playing against a lot of older guys. Um, but um, the thing I like about our freshmen is is they're gym rats. They're you know they they're competitive. Um, they thought they were supposed to win today. Um, they're going to be mad, you know, which you like. I, you know, they, they believe that they can beat anyone, and, and I think you, you, you combine that fearlessness with the work ethic, you know, I think the future will be great. If Ames can continue to play like he did tonight, what, what can he do for this team, you think? Well, I mean, a lot, and I'm looking, so he obviously he shot the ball exceptionally well. He didn't have a turnover, okay? Again, we're not, you know, we, we you know, we try to be in some ways Virginia, Light, right? Like we, we try to play kind of a pack line defense. We, you know, we try to do the same things in a, in a lot of ways uh, that, that that they do, and, and um, so we're not out going out and trying to steal and gamble and things like that either. But if he can stop behind a ball screen, hit a three, you know, he's, he he seems to me to be pretty explosive and dynamic, getting to the paint. He had a couple floaters. Um, it just it just puts a lot of pressure on your defense. Any other questions? Thank you. Thank you.